Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. We are here for, we're going to do a couple cards and we're going to talk about some miracle stories, some manifestations that have come through for me, for my friends, for my clients. So before we start our stories, let's see what the message is for today. We're going to use my Micah Magic deck. Deck I cre created in memory of my daughter, Micah, who passed away at six weeks old, 10 years ago. She is what brought me here to my gifts. Okay, so we have go into your cave. Poor spirit is here to bring momentum. Okay, so someone is being called to seclude, go into your her hermit mode and kind of like pull back your energy from helping other people out, from showing up for your family, nurture yourself. Okay. When you believe it or not on a manifestation journey or just our, our life journey in general, if you want things to change in your, in your life, you have to like slow down yourself to allow the universe to magnetize things to you. If you are, think about this, if you are out there chasing, grabbing, trying to force things to happen, that's you putting all this energy out, out and out. And guess what that does? It's a pushing energy. So there won't be any momentum coming towards you, taking you to your next steps. You're pushing it all away. So when you're calling in things into your life or you're just living your life and wanting a happier day-to-day -day life, you can't go out and force it. You have to pull back your energy and be in your feminine flow and you trust that things will come to you. And as soon as you pull back your energy and go into your cave for a little bit, it could be for a couple hours each day. It could be for 15 minutes whatever your schedule can handle, that's when momentum starts to pick up. You start to see, see things start to change, which is perfect leading into this video and about manifestations coming in and miracle stories, because that's what happened to my clients and to myself. So I'll start with me. For the last three days, actually probably almost a week now, I pulled out a bunch of money from the bank and I've been just counting money, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, up to 100,000, 500,000, 1.2, 1.5. And every night before I go to bed, I would count the bills as if they were worth that amount of money. And it, it got so robotic and autopilot that my hands just started doing it. And then I would switch hands and then I would do my left hand. And it was changing the chemistry in my body and in my brain. And I really felt like so abundant. And this morning I woke up to a text from one of my clients who lives out in Nebraska, high five, you know who you are. And she was randomly thinking about me all day yesterday and, or my name just kept popping up in her, in her head as this idea. So she lives on a beautiful land of 40 acres she has a beautiful home and her and her husband are traveling and they have a bunch of little fur babies. And she saw that I had been house sitting for my local family, um, friends and family in, in my area. And she was like, Hey, Michelle, you just keep popping into my head. Like I was going to ask somebody local to come take care of the animals, but I just thought maybe you'd want to do it. And I'd have to obviously fly out there to stay there for the week. And for me, that's like, so fun to be able to travel. I really want to like get out more. I've been manifesting travel money and new places to film and new things to do and new people to meet. So here I was manifesting for the last three to four days, counting the money and the universe brought me an opportunity that cost a lot of money. Like for me to be able to stay in this home as an Airbnb, it would cost a lot of money. I think it's like a $3 million home. And, um, She's going to let me drive her Jeep Wrangler. They have a Honda side-by-side, -side, like a cool, like, um, I don't know if you guys know what they are. I had to look it up, but it's like basically like a quad for the land, for the property to ride around on. So how much fun is that going to be? Hopefully I'll be able to film outside. It'll probably be quiet if she's on that much land. But this opportunity, I went into my cave for the last two days. I literally secluded myself. I didn't do too much. I rested as much as I could. I didn't do a lot of filming and boom, momentum came this morning. It was like dropped right into my inbox. And it was like, Hey, here's a trip that you can get paid to stay in a beautiful home, hang out with these adorable animals and pour all your love into them. And maybe even like film readings there, switch up my routine, get my energy juice by traveling somewhere new 
my soul is going to get to experience a new environment. So what an awesome manifestation that just dropped in. And it's because I pulled back my energy. I counted the money. I was telling myself that I'm so abundant that I can afford that trip. And it arrived. And my other client, the other story I wanted to share was about five months ago, I'm like, you know, I think she owns like her and her husband own a condo and they're renting it out. They're landlords for years. And um, I can relate to the story because I had a condo while I was living here and I had it since my daughter was born. So it was like I had it for almost, um, gosh, I think I sold it in 2020 and I got it in 2005. So yeah, 15 years. That's crazy. So I had my condo for 15 years and I was manifesting money and I was like, oh my gosh, like I just feel an urge to sell my condo. And my friend, my friend did the same thing five months ago. We were talking about, it. I don't even know when her and I talked about it, but I remember saying like, you should sell that and make a, a good bank on that. Like try and do that. And then five months later, literally this past week, she sold it and she made like $30,000 on it. So awesome. And it's like instant money. It's now in your bank account. So literally it felt like overnight for her, it felt quick. It felt easy. It felt effortless. It was just like, oh my gosh, like how did this happen? So, so effortlessly, like she thought it was going to be like five months ago, she thought it was going to be so hard because there's people that still live there and she didn't know where they were going to go. She didn't want to kick them out on the street, but her tenants get to stay there another couple months. And it's just, it worked out divinely and the universe does that when something is meant to happen and it's for everybody's highest good it unfolds very effortlessly and easily just like me my client who's asking me to go to her house um, in August it works for her too she even said to me she's like it's gonna make me she's like it's gonna make me feel so good knowing that you're there with my fur babies taking care of them and I like to be that woman that people trust and I, I trust myself I know for a fact I will give those animals so much love. I will clean her house. I will make it so beautiful for when she comes home. And I'm sure it's already clean, but that brings me joy to enter into somebody's home and they trust me in it. And I make it, I bring the good energy to the home. I allow myself to soak in all of that and, so that they can come home and soak in that good energy as well. So miracle stories. My story, I manifested a trip, a free stay for a week in a beautiful million dollar home on 40 acres. And I'm going to have a bunch of toys to play with all the cars and the animals. It's going to be so much fun. My friend manifested $30,000, which was beyond what she expected what she was going to get. And the other miracle story was I was watching a meditation video and I shared this on my community page, but I was texting my friend about how she got her money. And I was like, oh my God, so funny that you're texting me right now. I'm actually listening to a money manifestation as we're on the phone. And then as I said that to her <laughs> and the YouTube video, you know how you can make, you can watch your YouTube videos while you're texting people. It's up at the top right corner of my screen. And all of a sudden my Venmo lights up $550. And I'm like, whoa, I was like, I screenshot it, sent it to my friend. I'm like, holy crap. I can't believe I just got $555. And then I saw who it was from. It was from my sister-in-law. And I always randomly babysit random days here or there. She'll be like, Hey, can you pick up the girls from the bus? I'll be like, yeah, sure. And she was just being so kind. And she locked me in for a couple of days in the past week. And she wanted to pay me and she paid me 555, which we didn't agree upon that. She just was paying me whatever she felt called to. And then she sent me the sweetest text and was just like, it's more about who you are and not so much about you're just babysitting. She's like, you just bring so much good energy to our lives. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, this is so wonderful. So I received the 555 yesterday. Then I got the free stay today. My friend got her 30,000 and there's more and more people receiving these quick little big miracles, small miracles. They're happening more and more, but people are learning that when you rest more, and you let go of the outcome, you let go of how it's going to arrive. I was counting money, just calling in large sums of money, not thinking it would come in through a free trip, but I'm not going to stop there. That's the first wave, right? I'm going to keep counting my money every single night because when you touch the money, when you feel abundant, you're in this energy of, I feel good. My vibration is high. I'm seeing the money. I'm seeing it in my account. I'm going to go deposit this money. And not that money is everything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that when we want to create abundance in life, energy is flow. Money is flow. 
it's like this beautiful waterfall that we have access to all the time and money does create opportunities. I know for me, I want to keep expanding myself. I want to learn how to garden. I want to learn how to do all these different things. I even said to a couple of my friends, like each month, let's challenge ourselves and let's learn something new. And for me, traveling might be it. Traveling to new places, learning about new cultures. I've never done that before. So I feel like this is part of me. And also, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but there are certain souls who incarnated in this lifetime to be travelers. So like the bucket list family, I think their souls are these energetic beings, which we all are, but they were meant to hit all these different locations to spread their love and their light at all these different locations, instead of just being in one house, raising their kids. I believe that that's why some families are called to travel with young children or even just adults traveling alone or with partners their soul is calling them to these like sacred locations for them to spill their energy and their light there. They are leaving a mark in every location. And I know I'm feeling that call now to be out and about more, to travel more. And I also get feedback from the universe when I'm doing those things. When I'm hopping on an airplane and I'm going places, everything is so synchronistic. When I'm taking road trips, everything is so synchronistic. It's like, I'm meant to be there. And I think I've been resisting it for so long because I'm limiting myself, telling myself I need more money to do it, or I don't feel safe going alone as a single girl. And it's just, I'm, I'm limiting myself. So I believe that we are being called to show up in life in a certain way. And we, when we want to create better lives, better experiences, more money, more abundance, more opportunities. We have to put ourselves in the feeling state of having it and counting money is just one tiny, tiny way to do that. And again, like I said, it doesn't mean you're actually going to get cash. The universe is going to bring you what you're focused on and what is for everybody's highest good. And it's, it knows that you might have been asking for travel, but you were thinking you needed cash to do that. But instead the universe just brings you a free flight, a free stay, or maybe you're gonna travel with somebody else and you're gonna stay with their family in a different location. The universe aligns it in the way that's best for you. So trust that, okay? Don't be so fixated on straight cash or whatever it is, all right? All right, let's get one more card to end this little, this video. I'm liking doing the manifesting videos with the cards. Thank you. Last one. Butterfly spirit is here to bring you your new wings. All right. You're being called to fly, to get out there and travel more, to spread your wings, to start showing up more and more as who you came here to be. This is you remembering what you really came here to do. It's time to spread your wings. But first, we're going to go into our cave. We're going to allow the universe to move things for us. Momentum's going to build around us. We're going to get those manifestations and then it's going to be time to fly. All right, lovies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.